Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back in the Rhino, or my 2004 um, GMC Envoy XUV. Now, if you've been following the last few videos, the transmission has been giving me some issues, and we've gone through some things to try and fix it. I really thought we had it, but unfortunately it turned out that uh, the video we did on the A and B ship solenoids did not fix the problem. It didn't change anything. Um, that being said, I only spent like 50 bucks to get those solenoids and then we did the work ourselves, so it didn't cost anything. It also let me get into the pan to see that there was no like metal or anything weird. So there was no actual physical wear that we could find. That's why we were pretty positive it was the shift solenoids, but that didn't change anything. And I haven't been driving the truck. If you can see that big brown spot out there, that's where the truck has been for the last two months. I just cranked it up today for the first time uh, because I have researched another part that seems to have the symptoms that I have, at least one of them. I don't have all of them that everybody seems to get. Um, apparently, when your speed transmission sensor goes out, your um, speedometer will go all wackadoodle, but mine isn't doing that. Mine just will not shift. It, it just doesn't want to go into third and fourth it doesn't want to go over 50 miles an hour i have to take my foot off the gas to trick the computer into making it shift and then i can only get the third gear best case scenario i can only do 55 miles an hour anywhere so uh on the way home after the shift solenoid video uh, the truck basically shut down like an eighth mile from my house and the <clears throat> the motor didn't turn off but the transmission was not having it I had all kinds of lights on the dashboard come on, so I had to limp it home, and that's where it's been. So I did some research, and I uh, got some parts from Rock Auto. Just one part, and it's that transmission speed sensor. So now I'm on my way to Chris's house to use the ramps and try and get that fixed. I am going to take some video of what the truck does on the way over to Chris's house so you can see what my symptoms are and possibly compare them to yours. Alright, so as you can see, my ABS light is on. That has been on for quite some time. Now, I was told that that's an ABS sensor. It has nothing to do with any of the sensors I've been talking about on this video. But, the more videos I watch, it seems that people replace the speed sensor and it fixes their ABS. I don't know if that's actually the case. That's not my concern. My concern is that this bad boy won't shift and I can't use it as my daily. I can't use it as my tow rig. And it's just sitting in my yard burning up my grass, basically. So... Me and Emmett are going to take you for a ride real quick to Chris's house, and I haven't driven this thing in two months, so who knows how it's going to even act. The last time it acted like it wasn't going to go 10 more feet. Um, right now it seems to be okay. It idles pretty high with the sensor being funky. So this is already faster than it was <laughs> going the last time I drove it, so... Uh, we'll get it out on the road and see what it does. Alright. So, first gear shifted in a second on its own. But, I'm in the throttle. Like, I am buried. I am mashed down. My foot is all the way down. That's all the acceleration I have. And you can see, probably here, that it's not shifting at a second. It's just staying in second. Now, if I let off, it shifts into third, but I gotta come to a stop. So you can see it's still doing its happy horse shit. So I'm stuck in first gear. Now if I let off the gas, it'll shift in a second. And then I can go pretty good in second gear. Pretty good, definitely not probably not even 50% of what I don't even really remember how fast this truck was to be honest with you that's how long the transmission has been down but I'm in second and it won't shift like it's just stuck there it would just stay there forever I have to let off it shifts and now I'm in third but 
it, it will only go to third. It will not go to fourth gear, and it won't go past 60 miles an hour at best. Hopefully, the speed transmission center fixes all that. According to YouTube College, it will. Yeah, two hands. Oh, yeah, it's an AMC. So, hopefully that is the troublemaker. Alright, so we're under the XUB. And cross member, you're going to see your drive shaft, your U joint, and all that, right? So it's right before that. Sorry, my dog is panting so loud, but he was being chased by other doggies. I'm trying to get my finger in there so I can show you where it's at. Uh, that's it. Right there. Now, all the videos I saw, it was on the transfer case on everybody's four-wheel drive. And they just used a crescent wrench to pop that out. But it looks like I'm going to want to use the actual right size wrench on that. Also, let me grab the new one. Here's the new one. It comes with that bracket. I can't see it really well from this side. Chris can see it when he was laying over there better than I could. Um, I might have a bolt in the top. I can't really see. I'm going to try and turn the light on here. Let me see. Okay, that's probably better. Yeah, so it's going to have a... Well, at least mine does. Hang on. Let me get up in there. Yeah. I probably should have waited. It's hot under here. I just drove 15 miles and the exhaust is scorching. There we go. Is it 8 mil? Yeah. All right, so eight millimeter, and um, mine appears to be held in with one eight millimeter on that, I don't know, bracket that's on there for whatever reason. I'm not, I can't really tell why that's a thing, but yep, you're just going to unclip it. He got it with his hands. In the videos, it had two clips, but that was also on the four-wheel drive transfer case. I didn't actually find a video on the XUV, which is why we decided to make this one to help anybody else that might be having issues. Oh, it looks like I got a leaky seal. Obviously, if you have a lift, this is a lot easier. It's not really that bad off your back. We didn't exactly wait for the truck to cool off, so the exhaust is pretty hot under here. All right. Eight mil bolt out. I'm going to move this stuff just in case transmission fluid does come out. I can't imagine. Is it a sensor? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be fluid coming out. I don't think so, dude. Really? Not any of the videos I watched. No? Let's hope not. Okay, yeah, well, let's... Huh? There it is. Yeah, I was going to say, how could a sensor... Do I need to wipe fluid on the gasket? No, just twist it in there and get it snug. Put the 8 mil back in. We'll reach around. I see fluid. Once you get that tightened down, you plug that clip back again. Theoretically, this truck should be tip top. Go do burnout. If it's not, yeah, one wheel peel. If it's not, that is every sensor that I've been able to track down on this transmission. And since there's no evidence of mechanical damage, like any kind of grindage or metal flake in the pan, 
I just don't see how this couldn't be a sensor issue. And there you have it. That's how you replace it. Now it's time to get it off the ramps and go see if that fixed it. All right, so we replaced the transmission speed center and we replaced the A and B shift solenoids and we've unhooked the battery and presumably let the ECU reset itself for like an hour. And unfortunately, as you can see, uh, it has not changed anything. My check engine oil light went out, but I am still shifting the same way. Nothing about it changed. There's no improvement. There's no unimprovement, disimprovement. It's not any worse or any better. Um, I am at a loss at this point. I am by no means a transmission expert, guru. I barely know how they work. What I do know is that I think every sensor that's been able to be replaced on this transmission has now been replaced. Um, so uh, if it's a sensor, it's beyond me at this point. There is no material in the pan. I mean, there is nothing to show that there's like clutch pack wear or any kind of actual physical mechanical damage. So. I don't I don't know I really thought the sensor was gonna to have to be the fix but if it is the fix for you uh, I I hope it works and at least now you know how to install and uninstall that sensor it's pretty quick a pair of pliers and uh, the new part and that's really all you need if you're skinny you could probably crawl up underneath the truck without ramps I definitely needed ramps but uh, until next time guys, uh, until I can maybe come up with another solution to this problem that doesn't require putting in a whole new transmission. Because I'll tell you, this 16 going on 17 year old truck is not getting a brand new transmission. It's just not. And so it needs to be fixed with a sensor. Also, I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but I got a crazy hissing sound now coming out of my car, out of the truck, and it gurgles when I stop. I don't have any temperature fluctuations, but when I get on the gas, it sounds like I have a constant blow-off valve or like I have a leaky radiator, but it's not leaky in any way. There's nothing leaking out of it. There's not a drop. There's no steam. Uh, the temperatures aren't going up, so I just, I don't know what it is at this point. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, aside from that, good luck with changing out your speed sensor on your 2014 or 2004 Envoy uh, XUV. At least now you have a video showing you how to do that. All right, later, taters.